name's Sal Barbier. I'm from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and I currently reside in Los Angeles, California. I got hooked up with H Street Skateboards with a... Uh, I went to an amateur contest. Michael Ternowski, known as MT, was there. Wasn't really clear about it, but he said, yeah, if you want to ride for us. But he, you know, assumed that I rode for someone else, so he said later he went on to tell me that he didn't want to steal me from another team, so I was just hanging out, and one thing led to another, and I ended up running into Mike. He was like, hey, you know, I know you're not living anywhere or doing anything. Would you like to come film with me, because I'm starting a new video. Name? Sal. Sal Barbier. Age? 20. Do you have a job or anything? No, ma'am, just a vagrant. Sal Barbier. Swamp Rat, super good. Because I started in, you know, Huntington Beach, went all through San Diego, then I went to, uh, you know, up north. So I got to meet everyone on the team that I had seen in the video before. I never met them, I was just a kid that had just saw the Shackley Knot video, probably in awe like everyone else. So it was a pretty cool experience. It was, I think the earlier experiences with uh, early 8th Street were probably the best ones because, you know, and nobody was too cool. It was like, uh, that's when I first met Hensley and Danny Way and probably everyone else, Mike Carroll, everyone that was on Plan B and then some. You know, when you got to Plan B, I think we were all pretty much burnt out on filming. So I kind of had ideas of, all, of my own, and I had, I had guys that I wanted to work with, you know. I, I, I liked, you know, the early team was like, it was Jason Dill, it was Clyde Singleton, um, Anthony Van England. Ronnie Bertino. Yeah, Ronnie Bertino. I, I kind of, any time I start a team, I put my, those are my favorite skaters that I put on there. You know, it was so strange to have a signature shoe back then because there was no crossover. There wasn't like, uh, Nike was never going to sponsor a skater or Adidas wasn't. It really didn't have any crossover to it. It was a complete 180. If you knew about skateboarding, you didn't know about basketball. So it was kind of like, well, that's cool. You know, only basketball players really get endorsement shoes. So, you know, I kind of, I was such a Jordan fan that it was, you know, it was just. It was a whole nother world. If I had it on my shoe, you wouldn't even know at the time that it was on a basketball shoe. So it was kind of like a thing where, you know, I had, you know, my background was I always liked to skate in, I tried to skate in Jordans and things like that, but they weren't very good for it. So when I tried to develop something, I wanted to take that aesthetic. And you can really see it in the second shoe because it, you know, it had, it had a Jordan aesthetic to it an extension of 23, but I got to kind of, as a creative director, I, I think I got it a little more where I wanted it to be as far as my apparel and my boards and my graphics. Um, it all started to make a lot more sense and I liked, the team represented it really well. I really liked that team. I have SL Barbier, yeah, that's, I was all cut and sewn, it was things I was making in the States, so the price um, <laughs> may, be difficult for, may be difficult for stateside accounts. Um, so I believe I will address that with, uh, you know, I, I believe I'll do Skateboard Veteran and address that, which would uh, probably be something that reflects a lot of the 90s in skateboarding. You know, it'll, it'll, it'll be that era of, you know, the aesthetics and, uh, you know, the type of skating we were talking about earlier. I'll, I'll probably do a lot of work with guys that are from that era, you know? So that, I think it, it should be interesting and it'll, I'm hoping that it will set me up to work with, you know, some of the younger guys as well as I move on, you know? Hi, I'm Sal Barbier and you're watching VHS Mag. I think we're all